Hi there, with Daniel Pettibone. How long is the whole trip? We did a dress rehearsal the other day. We did a test run of it, and it went a little bit over what I was hoping it was going to be. It took <laughs> us an hour and 20 minutes, but it should be shaved down. I want it to be an hour. So tell me then about the content of your show. Hey, of my tour, um, something that I was really interested in was more, um, I guess, the gentrification of the neighborhood, but with focus on the artists. I'm not a historian, I'm a storyteller and I love, you know, I love stories and I love to hear people's uh, um, experiences. So a huge part of my tour is I put a call out for love letters. Um, and then I was just researching just about buildings and about different things and it kind of led me a little bit further away from kind of what my interest was in. Hmm. But then I found at the library an, an amazing thesis that was written by a woman named Betty Ann Jordan, you guys probably know, and it was written in 1980 and it talks about gentrification of Queen Street West and the movement influx and exit of artists. There were all these abandoned, um, abandoned kind of warehouses and places that you could go. You weren't really supposed to live there, but it was a great workspace. Is squatters what? essentially really? <laughs> not necessarily. Not That's everybody. That's exciting, though. Not wow. everybody, but I mean, there's a really it's really renegade artists living in attics somewhere. And they would move into them, but they weren't allowed to live there because mm. you weren't allowed to live in the in this industrial area. And so they would renovate it and take it upon themselves to do that. Mm -hmm. And they didn't have insurance. If the landlord kicked them out, the landlord kicked them out, and that's all you could do. But it was worth it for kind of cheap living and also to have that space, that space that you would dream of. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about these love stories before we round up here. What, what are we looking at here? I have love stories, but and some of them are, yes, romantic, beautiful, romance-written love stories. Mm -hmm. A lot of it is just... I like this street. I like living here, or I miss living here, or, you know, I had a really wonderful time in my life when I was here. This, this is somebody's neighborhood, people live, people live here, you know, and I think that's something that I've been really trying to hold on to in this process. It's been a really cool thing to kind of immerse myself in when I've been able to. Mm -hmm. I got a question for you. Where's the most romantic place on Green Street West? Oh. Um, oh, I don't know if I can tell you that. That's my own story. Thank you, Dana, for introducing us to all these people who live in this neighborhood that we all call home, West Queen West, and uh, we really wish you luck with the show. Do you want to go through the dates and uh, gathering spaces one more time? Yeah. Just for everybody? Yeah. Um, uh, the, the walking tours that we're doing for summer walks are going to be at, they're all going to start at the Factory Theatre. And mine and Byron's tours end at the Factory Theatre as well. Okay. And uh, Bruce's tour ends at the Theatre Centre, which is a festival venue. And I mean, you can see everything about uh, the shows, the music series, the performance gallery, uh, and our walking tours at www.summerworks.ca. Uh, Thank you so much, Dana. This You're has welcome. been great. Come you would dance around and sing if the moment moved you to in a public place. In the afternoon A close encounter with a stranger Just because it turned you on And then you'd be at peace with yourself